Alleluia, Alleluia, praise the Lord, Alleluia, 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 praise the Lord, Alleluia. Praise you, Spirit of the Living God. We lift your name on high, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. There is none like you, my God. Once again, you have gathered us, Father. We are here to 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 seek your face. I pray you manifest yourself tonight, Lord. I pray. You will speak through me. Lord, I pray that anything, any burden, any obstacle that is ahead or even blocking your people, Father, by the time this program will go to an end, Father, I pray you lift every burden. Father, you lift every burden. Father, you release every heart. Father, anybody that will log onto this platform tonight, Father, I pray you will meet that person. As you have been meeting sinners and transforming their life, as you met Saul, who later became an apostle, Father, I pray anybody that will log in tonight, Father, meet them. Those that are finding it difficult even to let the world go. Those who love you by the word of uh, entangling them. Father, I pray by the time we finish tonight's program, that is my desire tonight that you uh, that they will encounter you in a different way. They will encounter you in a different way. Holy Spirit, come and baptize your people. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. I pray. Hallelujah. Before we begin to pray, I want you to spend me 20 minutes as I speak. As I speak. Uh, yesterday and today, because of the Eid, I was a little bit busy. I couldn't come live to make teachings. Forgive me. I will make up. I will make up. Forgive me. God bless you. We are live on Facebook and we are live on Zoom. I know many people are already stressed. We are very tired. You can see from my face. We are very tired. Hallelujah. Today, I want to speak to you on bearing fruit. Bearing good fruit. When I studied a scripture in the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse number 33. It said we should seek the kingdom. Many are wishing to seek the kingdom, but they don't find it. Many are wishing to do the will of God, but they cannot. Why? Many wish to serve God. Many people, their heart really is yearning for God. They desire to have an encounter with God, but they are finding it difficult. Many have been baptized more than five years. Even the language, the tongue, the, 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 the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it is difficult. They have not received it. Why? That is the question many people ask. Because Jesus Christ said, Any plant that does not bear fruit shall be hewn down at the end. At the end. Any plant that does not bear good fruit will be hewn down. We will cut it. Anybody that is not bearing fruit in the kingdom of God, you are like a chaff. You are like a chaff. And you can be taken away at any time, at any moment. Before I quote my scripture, I want to share to you what God revealed to me yesterday concerning God's children. I couldn't come on life to, the, uh, to, to just tell what God revealed to me. Children of God, we are relaxed. And the devil is using all kinds of ways to steal our blessing. 
what belongs to us. The devil is laying hands on it. And at the end, we have to give them something before he gives us what really belongs to us. I saw myself in, 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 in a revelation. Please, those on Zoom, you mute yourself because the children are around. In a revelation, I saw a very big truck. A very, very big truck. And that truck is full of, of, of goose. Goose. The truck is full of goose. And the truck, there is a logo or a label or a, a written words. That is written on the truck. And the words that I saw was, uh, uh, I just want to I just want to get the right word like IGBTQI something like that L G B T Q I that is the word that is written on that heavy 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 track heavy duty track L G B T Q I. That is the word that is written. And I asked, where well, are they taking these goose? And someone told me, these goose are the goose that belongs to children of God. And these people have taken it. Before you get these goose, unless you join them, unless you join them, the blessings that God have restored for us, because we have relaxed, because we have decided not to even Reverend God, not to even uh, obey his voice, the devil have taken what belongs to us, what God has restored for us, what God has given to us as children of God. For us to live peace and serve him on earth, the devil have laid hands on it. And the person further explained to me that unless you join them, you know, this LG, LGBTQ, this, these are the lesbians, gay, bisexual, before you get what belongs to you yourself, your blessings has been taken away by the devil. And before you get money, before you get money, you have to join them. This is another agenda that God revealed to me. Evil plan of the evil world. Evil people in the world, they've taken blessings that belongs to God's children. And you have to go and surrender your soul before you get money. Before they give you money. You have to go and give yourself to your fellow woman before they you get money. You have to go and sleep with your fellow man before you get money. Well, God has restored blessings for us. Why God himself have restored blessing? He said, first of all, seek the kingdom. Because we have decided not to seek the kingdom. But we are seeking wealth. See where we are going. See how the devil is deceiving the world. How the devil is winning so. Through fake prophet, they are winning us. Through these worldly people, they are winning us. All kinds of ways, ways and means, they are winning souls. They are winning souls. Blessing a very full. You know, the car is full of goose. They have arranged it in buses. Buses. Bus. A very big bus. Buses. And the person was telling me, these are the blessings of God's children. The devil have deceived us. Taking that blessing. And before you get it, you have to go and surrender. Before you got it, you have to go and worship under their satanic uh, pastors. Before you get that blessing, you have to go. Tonight we are here to release. Hallelujah. We are here to command the release of everything that belongs to us. We are here to command the release of our blessing. What the devil have taken from us. What the evil ones have stolen from us. What belongs to us. That the devil have laid hand on it. What belongs to us. That the evil world have laid hands on it. The blessings that belongs to God's children. Many of us, when we die, when we die and leave this planet earth, and we find a place, and God open your eye, there you see the blessings God restored for you on earth. God did not create anybody a poor person. Not too poor to the stand that you beg to eat. Not too poor to the stand that you beg to wear. Not too poor to the stand that you beg to find a place to sleep. This is not the will of God. He said, I know the thought that I think towards you. It is thought of peace and not of what? Evil, not evil. 
I know the thought that I think towards you. Now I was studying the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 13. The parable that Jesus Christ made there. He made a parable about a sower that went out to sow a seed. Matthew chapter 13 verses number 8. Verses number 7 going. He said, verse, Matthew chapter 13 verse number Verse number three, I think verse number three going, he said, and he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he soweth, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some seed fell on the wayside, and the fowl came and devoured them up. Some fell on stony places where they had no much else, and for which they sprang up, because they had no deepness of health. Verse 6 says, and when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they have no root, they withered away. Verse 7 says, and some fell on thorns, and the thorns sprang up, and they took them. But others fell on a good ground, and brought forth fruit, some a hundred, some a sixty fold, some a thirty. Let me explain the parable to you before we pray. Verse, let's jump to the verse number 19 to 23. Matthew chapter 13, verse 19 to 23. Please, as soon as you join, you share the broadcast and invite somebody. You share and invite somebody. The verse number 19 say, and when, when anyone, verse 18 say, hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When anyone hear the word of the kingdom and understand that it not, then cometh the wicked one and catch away that which was sown in his heart. This is which received the seed by the wayside. The Bible says we should seek the kingdom and the righteousness. And here is the case that when we hear even message of the kingdom, we do not even understand. When we hear words from the kingdom of God, we do not even understand. Not even talking of the blessings and the good things surrounding it. So the devil come in and they take it away from us. Because you do not understand. When God tells you this, because you do not understand, you just ignore it. When God speaks to you, because you do not understand, you just ignore it. When God gives you a direction, because you do not understand, you just ignore it. And the devil come and take it away from you. The evil ones come and take it away from you. This is the parable of the sower, the seed that fell along the wayside. These are the people in the body of Christ that the devil is robbing them. The devil is robbing them of their glory. The devil is robbing them of their fame. The devil is robbing them of, the, of, the, of, of their wealth. Every good thing in them, the devil is robbing them. So at the end, these people have to go and surrender to mammon. These people have to go and serve mammon before they can receive, before they can enjoy blessing. Meanwhile, God has restored all these blessings for them. God did not leave them empty. Keep sharing the broadcast, please. Keep sharing for me. Keep sharing. Yes. As soon as they receive it, the devil come and take it away. As soon as God release blessings onto their life, the devil come and take it away. Because they do not even understand. They do not even hurt, understand. They do not understand. <laughs> yeah, the attack has started. <laughs> the attack has started from all dimensions. All dimension. Let's continue. <laughs> My light is off. I don't know. Yes. Yes, because they do not understand. The devil come and take it away. When God release fame, the devil come and take it away. When God release promotion, any good thing that God will release on their life, the devil visit them and take it away from them. So unless they go and surrender to mammon, unless they go and surrender to the God of this world, Unless they surrender before they can receive blessing, please, those on Zoom, if your place is noisy, you do well to mute yourself. Verse 20, it said, But he that received the seed into stony praise, the same is seed that hear the word, and, and receive with joy, and with joy receive it. Yet had he not root in himself, but dwelleth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arise because of the word, and by he is offended. You know, we receive it, many people also in church. 
we receive every day when when even the man of god i'm not talking about charlotte i'm talking about janine release a declaration receive it oh i receive because they don't have root because they don't have faith because the weight of god is not able to dwell in them whatever they receive they can't even fortify they can't even increase they can't make good use of it whatever they receive the devil just through persecution their little challenges they leave the presence of god visit a shrine they leave the presence of god visit oracle they leave the presence of god and go or otherwise vice versa to go and seek for help these are also people that the devil is robbing them of their of their glory of their possession of every good thing in them and they said, Christians today, we are the poorest among all the various religions. Christians are the poorest. Christians, we are the poorest. Muslims are flourishing. Every Christians, they are there. Buddhism, they are there. They are all making only Christians. The devil is stripping us of our wealth. The devil is robbing us of what belongs to us. Why? Because we have ignored the truths and the words from the mouth of our father the word of god is not in us we receive an an, 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 an an empty can so as soon as we receive inside because there is no hedge there is no security the devil will enter and take it away jesus spoke this parable he spoke this parable these are the people in church the category of people in church we don't receive anything. Sometimes also when we get it, we receive the blessing. When we see an open door, a door is opened. But because every believer, your door is being surrounded by an adversary. Because your blessing is being surrounded by witches and wizards. From high, high places, challenges will come. And many people, as soon as these challenges come, they, they turn their back to God. And they visit so many places looking for help. And these people that you visit them looking for help, they are rather the people robbing you of your blessing. The charlatans are the ones robbing you of your joy. They are the ones robbing you of your glory. Until you come and surrender to their God. They belong to the God of this world. They, they do not serve the God of Yahweh. So when you visit them, they take your God ordained glory and they give Give you a fake glory which will not last for long they take your god ordained blessing and they give you fake blessing which will not last for long they exchange your soul with 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 a, a, something that is that is a tempera something that will satisfy you tempera not long not long yes get closer to god or yourself so that any time you any difficulty come your way, you will not seek for any helper, but rather you seek for God. You will seek for God, for God to direct you, to lead you, to guide you on how you come out of that problem. Because when you are going through any problem, I wanted to start praying, but the Lord said I should speak. So I have to stop the prayers and I have to speak. I have to speak. The little problem that will come your way, if you don't know how to handle, or if you if you don't pray for patience to endure in that pro, uh, to endure in that that little problem, and you think of going to these places, these prosperity preachers, these prosperity pastors, if you think they will get, they can help you, they will help you with a temporal solution, and the problem they will add up to you. You cannot even bear it. This is why many souls have been taken by them. Christians, we can't endure. We, we preach about persecution. We preach about trials. We preach about challenges that will come our way. But when it comes, we can't endure. We find our way up. We are looking for quick solution. We are looking for solution everywhere. Not every problem that you need to look for solution. When I studied the Bible about the life of Joseph, if Joseph was supposed to look for a solution, a quick solution, he could have missed his glory. He could have missed the throne that he was supposed to sit on it. He needed to pass through the process. Though God revealed to him that the 12 stars and the moon and the sun, they were bowing to him. They were bowing to you as a sign and a symbol that a time is coming. People, nation, father, mother, children, they will all come and bow to him. 
Yes, though, it was not easy for that thing to manifest. You have to pass through a process. Before Saul, who later became the king, the Bible said the day that his father's ass got missing and the father asked him to go and look for the axe he passed through so many places he passed through a land of, of a land that was full of, the middle of that land is full of forces he passed through a, a dusty road he passed through so many process life is a gradual process stop thinking of short way to life you end it she will end it there is no short way to life in life there is no short way there is no short way. Everything is a process. God used seven days to create the world. He had power to command all of them to come in one day. But because he wanted you to understand that life is a gradual process. Life is a gradual process. You don't rise up one day to become, uh, 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 to reach on the, on, the, on the top. You must climb the ladder. You must climb the ladder. Many of you, you've been jumping from one check to the other. One check to the other. Because of one little problem. If you don't take care, you miss heaven. You will miss heaven if you don't take care. You will miss heaven. You will die under the feet of a charlatan. While you may think you are still under the grace. If you don't take care, a charlatan will sacrifice you for their own greediness. Something have just happened in Ghana that the family are grieving. A mother and a daughter that used to attend a specific church in Ghana. One of these prophetic churches. That we warn people, warn people, warn people. We don't know which donation we are to use to speak to people for people to even understand. We don't know which language you should speak again. They will go. So I mean, when you go and you put your head in bond, they don't come. Now I don't pray unnecessary prayer. I tell you. If we advise you and you don't listen and you go and you find yourself in this battle yourself. Yes, battle. This lady was in the church with the mom. The mother died three years. Three years. Exactly three years. So when the mother died, the lady was supposed to succeed the mother in the church. So she succeeded. The lady, you know, she, she, she's not even the kind of person that is, that is having connection with social media bloggers and all this. And this lady have died a sudden death. And a whole prophet, self-acclaimed prophet, is stood on the pulpit to say, I killed that lady. Uh -uh. Because she has been taking the, 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 the secret in the church. What secret do we keep in church? What secret do we keep in church? Do we go to church to seek the face of God or we go to church to gossip? Do we go to church to worship, to have an, an encounter with the Holy Spirit, or we go to church to see God, to see human being, to see a human being? Let us come back home. People are dying on daily basis without knowing God. People are dying as I'm speaking to you. You can die today. Yesterday afternoon, I was on my bed, and the Lord revealed a fatal motor accident. Three young men instantly, they died. Three young men on a motor bicycle in a revelation. I saw it. I am not much concerned about their death, but where are their souls going? That is the question you should ask. Where are their souls going? We receive the word of God, but we don't bear fruit. So the devil has been taking the word with its power, with its protection, with its blessing from your life. From your life. Hmm. Verse 22. Matthew 13, 22, he said, He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that hear the word and the care of the world and the deceitfulness of riches. The care of the world and the deceitfulness of what? Of riches. People are using riches to deceive many souls at this end time. That is why you see all conferences, wealth conference, prosperity conference, this, this, this conference, work with your hand. The apostle said a hand that does not work must not eat. There is no quick money. There is no quick money that you will not offer sacrifice. There is no quick money that you will not share blood. There is no quick money that you will not sacrifice a human being. Please do not involve yourself. We've been praying, but sometimes we need to speak to you. Deceitfulness, the care of this world. The care of this world. 
people are eager, children of God. They are eager to, to ride in a very big cars. When you take your trotter, you can go. When you take your bus, you can go. That is why we all cannot buy cars. We all cannot buy private jets. We all cannot buy expensive cars. That is why the government have provided public transport for us. Stop killing yourself. Stop killing yourself. Men of God today have, they have, many of them, because of deceitfulness, deceitfulness of riches, at the end of the year, they will never ask their pastors that, take, that are in charge of the various branches, they will not ask them how many souls were you able to warn at the end of the year. They will never ask, but they will ask how was how 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 many income were you able to raise? Were you able to make at the end of the year? We are after money, we are not after souls. We care about the money that the people are contributing to the church rather than the souls that are dying without knowing Christ. We care. We care about the people's money that they will give. But ask, when they die today, do they have relationship with God? If it were rapture occurs today, would they get the grace to survive? Can they live? Would they survive? When rapture occurs today, where would the congregation, 10,000 members in your church, man of God, where will they be? Would they pursue you? Would they cry after you? Or they will praise you? Ask yourself. You know, sometimes when we sit like this, we can, you know, we, we, we wish we, can, we want to do what we, we want. But the Holy Spirit wants us to speak. Wants us to speak. Many souls are perishing. Many are in, in, in ghost churches, ghost churches. As the Bible said, those that lack knowledge, they will dwell in ghost churches. Ghost churches without the message. No message. No message for the people to bear good fruit. The people to bear good fruit. So they are in churches. They are robbing each other because the pastor himself is a, 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 day, a daylight a robber. Daylight, daylight robber, robbing people. Let us teach them all because a day is coming, no human being can stand. A day is coming, your money can never save you. A day is coming, the mansion you have can never save you. A day is coming, it doesn't matter the number of private jets that you have, you cannot make it. It is your deeds. It is your good deeds. It is your righteous life that will make you, that will open the door for you. When the trumpet sells, when you hear the sound of the trumpet, many will regret for not giving their life to God. Many will regret that day for not having personal relationship. Many will cry because their pastors are deceiving them with prosperity messages instead of messages of righteousness and holiness sanctification there are many churches ever since they established that church they have never baptized anybody in that church i keep repeating this message to you child of god if you want to make to heaven go through the right process do not die do not die as a sinner because you don't know when you will die on daily basis work on your salvation with fear and trembling don't let the deceitfulness of this world deceive you. Don't let the riches of this world deceive you. Do not sacrifice your soul. Please wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. It is not by force to change your clothing every day. Let people mock you. Let them make mockery of you. Let them laugh at you. God knows you. Your connection with God matters. Not, do not do anything to please man. Make sure you are praising your maker. Do not do anything to praise human being. Praise God alone. Praise God. Praise God. The grace to survive at this end time. Because the devil keeps deceiving many on daily basis. On daily basis, the devil is deceiving many people. The devil is deceiving many people. The devil has 66 path. 666 ways. That he's using to win soul. The one of the major way is the charlatan. 
Another way is, is, is through doctors, through nurses, you know, all kinds, all kinds, all what you were seeing in this world. Church of Methodists accepting woman, ma woman to woman marriage, man to man marriage. Let this speak to you, child of God. Let this speak to you. That all these are signs of what? End time. A rapture can occur at any time. Teach your family to know God. Oh. Mothers, talk about what is ahead of us to your sons and your daughters. Because it will be sad when you be raptured and you look down and see your daughter suffering. You are a mother and how you love your children, you will not enjoy you look down or you look and you see your sons suffering and they will lift up their eye and they will see you as Lazarus saw the rich man or as the rich man saw Lazarus. This is what is going to happen. No? What Jesus Christ said, it is a scenario. It is a pictorial image, a reflection of what will happen after our rapture, after we have been raptured. A pictorial image of what we are going to see. Talk to your children. They can't stand. Talk to your sons. They can't stand. We are praying all right. But you need to sit them down. Learn the word of God and teach them at home. Be a preacher of your home. Be a watchman for your family. Because anybody, all of you under the sound of my voice, you are watchman for your home. It is not only we the preachers that the burden is on us. No, your family, you have to come and listen to the word of God. Go and preach to your home. Go and preach to your husband. Go and preach to your wife. Let them know the truth. If you do not preach to them and they die, God will request their blood from your hand. Let me tell you the truth. Let me tell you the truth. If they die in their sins, God is going to request their blood from your hands. That is why you need to all the day, all the time, remind them of that one thing that they are doing that is against God. Remind your husband of that womanizing that he is doing. Let him be angry, be courageous, be strong and speak to them. Remind your daughter that sleeping around with many men will, will take you to destruction, will make you perish. Remind your daughter that Sodom and Gomorrah, they were destroyed, they were consumed by the fire, by the anger of God because of, because of lesbian and gayism. Speak to them. Speak to them. We are praying. All these things that we are receiving. Supernatural wealth conference. Supernatural one 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 conference. Oh, half water conference. Breakthrough. Visa conference. Citizenship conference. All these things are earthly things. And one day we will leave all this on earth. When we die today, all these things we can't carry them. Naked we came, naked we shall go. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 15. It said, Naked we came, naked we shall go. You are not taking anything. You are not going with anything. You are going with your good deeds. You are going with your righteousness. That is why you need to ask for the grace to love your neighbor as yourself. The grace to endure. Many starter web they backslided. There are many women, let me speak to you before I bring my message to an end. Let me speak to those days, the year 2017, the year 2016, when we were on the media all the time to working to entertain people. There were many ladies that were with long guns and long hedges. They came and spoke to us. Let me tell you, let me just draw your attention to what is ahead of you. And I know many of you fall. Many of you along the line, you backslided. Many of you along the line, you lose hope in Christ. Many of you, they will deceive you. They will deceive you. Many of them came and preached to us. Jesus has come and repent. Give your life to Jesus. You know, all what you were doing is against the will of God. They didn't even, many of them even didn't want to get closer to us because we were sinners. Let me tell you, let me speak to you. Let me speak to you. As I'm speaking to you now, many of them, they backslided. I know one lady that came and approached me. As I'm speaking to you now, she's a second wife to somebody. She is a second wife. She couldn't stand. She couldn't wait. She, she couldn't endure to the end. She could not endure to the end. The grace to last. The grace to endure. 
the grace to wait patiently upon the Lord, the, the parable of the ten virgins, the parable of the ten virgins, five of them were prepared, five of them, they, oh, they weren't prepared. They were all waiting, but they couldn't get the grace to wait. The grace, they are all your waited. They are all your dried up. They are all your dried up. They couldn't wait again. They could not even wait again. This is what is happening. We saw many ladies, they dress well. We saw many ladies, they were with long gown, no earring, no jewelry. They were preaching righteousness to us. Now many of them, when you see them, even Jezebel herself will never dress the way they are dressing. Now many of them, as I'm speaking to you, they could not even wait. They are into fornication. They are stripping around while they are not married because no man was coming to wear them. Because they waited upon the Lord, no man came to marry them. So now they, they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait. The grace to last. The grace to last. Verse 20, verse number, verse, uh, verse number 23. It said, but he that received, received seed into the good ground is the one that hear the word and understandeth it, which also bear fruit and bring forth some a hundredfold, some a sixtyfold, some a thirtyfold. Before you can praise God, you have to bear fruit and the fruit you are supposed to bear hundredfold. When you accept Jesus Christ, you, you are in a 30, level 30. You have to move from 60. From 60, you reach 100. Before you can fit the kingdom of God. Before you can fit a kingdom of God. The grace. I don't know what sin you are swimming inside. I don't know what thing that you are doing. That you want to stop, that is difficult for you. Sometimes when people write to me and say, Mommy, I want to stop masturbation. I don't know how I'm going to stop. I've been masturbating for ages. I don't know how I'm going to stop. Mommy, how do I stop? How? You can't stop with your strength. Because it's an evil sport. You need the Holy Spirit. I want you to lift your hand and say, Lord... All to you, I surrender everything. All to Jesus, I surrender. All to you, I surrender everything. I want you to pray from the innermost part of you. Lord, this day, I surrender everything. Everything that will make me be rejected at that day. Lord, I surrender. Forgive me everything that I have done. Forgive me everything that I have done. Father, I surrender. Take control over my life. Father, rule my life from today. I surrender everything to you. Forgive me all my sins. Grace me with your precious blood. I receive you mightily, fully into my life. I receive you into my heart. I receive you, Holy Spirit. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I hunger for your test. The test for your holy life. Test for living holy for you. Test for waiting patiently for you. Test for endure, uh, dwelling in your presence always. Test for your word. Test for your Holy Spirit. Father, I desire an encounter. A genuine encounter, a different an encounter that will transform my life forever. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, fill me with the grace, the grace to sustain me to the end, the grace to sustain me to the end, the grace to stand all tribulations and challenges, the grace to stand all challenges and all attacks, the grace, Lord, I desire this grace, I desire this grace, build my spiritual life. Father, revive my life again. Revive my spiritual life. Revive my spiritual life. Everything that is dead in me, Lord, bring it back to life. Open your mouth and pray. Anything that is dead in me, Lord, Father, I command it to come back to life. Let it come back to life. Let it come back to life. Everything 
dead in me. My, my spiritual life, that is dead. Father, resurrect it. Lord, resurrect it. Lord, resurrect it. Lord, resurrect it. The spirit of weakness that want to take over my life. The spirit of weakness that want to take over my spiritual life. Lord, take it away. Father, take it away. Father, take it away. Father, take it away. Strengthen me, Lord. Give me power. Food me with your fire. Set me a brace at this end time. Food me with your end time anointing. The strength to stand. The grace to stand. The oil to fall to an end. The oil to finish in faith. The grace to finish in faith. The grace to finish in faith. Father, re release to me this day. 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 Whatever the devil have taken from my life, Father, restore it back to me. Lord, restore it back to me. Whatever the devil have taken from my life, Lord, restore it back to me. Open your mouth and say, God Almighty, restore it back to me. Restore it back to me. Restore it back to me. Whatever the evil ones have stolen, whatever charlatans have stolen, whatever the world have stolen, Whatever witches have stolen, whatever principalities have taken, Father, restore it back to me. Lord, restore it back to me. Father, I call for restoration. Lord, I call for restoration. I desired restoration in your presence this moment. Lord, I desire restoration. Open your mouth and pray. Whatever that has been taken must be restored by force because the word of God says, Oh, from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violence taken by force we are taking it by force whatever has been taken from our life we receive it by force 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 whatever has been stolen from our life we receive it by force we receive it by force we take 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 it by force it by force we take it by force we take it by force whatever that they have swapped they have taken they have stolen from your life wherever that blessing is wherever that glory is wherever that fear is in the name of jesus christ let it be released Say, I command the release. Type, I command the release. Type, I command the release. I command the release of my blessings. I command the release of my blessings. I command the release of everything stolen from my life. I command the release of everything taken from my life. I command the release of every blessing stolen from my children's life. I command the release of every glory. Every Every glory, every glory, every glory, every glory taken from my life, taken from my life, taken from my life, taken from my life, every glory taken from my children's life, every glory taken from my children's life. I command the release of it. I command the release of it. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. My family glory, my God, my children's glory. My husband's glory. Right now. Let it be released. Let it be released. I command the release. I command restoration. I command the release. I command restoration. Restoration of my blessing. Restoration of my blessing. Restoration of my blessing. Restoration of everything. Everything. Every good thing. God restores in me. Every good thing. God restores in me. Right now. Whatever the devil have laid hands on. My God. I command the release of it. Let it be released back to me. 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 Wherever I have surrendered my soul. Ah. Knowingly or unknowingly. Where I have already surrendered my soul. Where I mention your name. I precious appear gifty. Wherever I have indirectly surrendered my soul to the devil. Today I reverse it. 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 Where I have surrendered my soul to mammon, 
to mammon today i declare i declare i am no longer your daughter i am no longer your son spirit of mammon take your hand from my soul spirit of mammon take your hand from my life spirit of mammon live my life spirit of mammon live my family spirit of mammon live my home wherever you have indirectly invited evil spirit in your home listen to me listen to me many of us indirectly directly or indirectly we invite evil spirit because many of these places that we go many malams that we go and see them many shakes that we go and see them many spiritualists we go and see them we don't know the sources of their powers we don't know where they are connected we don't know the source but we we agree to take any water they give to you home we agree to take any sticker they give to you home we agree to take any item they sell to you and many of these items many of these oils we have a specific group of spiritualists that prepare those oils we have spiritualists from the camp of the of the devil that has been preparing these oils that we are buying at home any evil spirit that i precious appear gifty have invited in my home today i drive you away i want you to command any evil spirit that i precious appear gifty have invited in my life directly or indirectly today i drive you away 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 evil spirit demons that i have invited in my children's life to come and afflict them to come and pursue them to come and fight their glory in my afterlife and when i die when i am no more today i declare leave my family today i declare leave my home today i declare leave my children's life today i declare leave my home today i declare leave my children's life leave my family leave my family leave my family leave my home leave my home evil spirit that i have invited that i have invited in my home in my home knowingly or unknowingly today i declare to you leave my home leave my home leave my home leave my father's house leave my father's house leave my children leave my children leave my marital home leave my marital home any evil spirit let me come again that your husband also or your wife indirectly have invited home because many of the women that your husbands are sleeping out there they are evil spirit they are possessed they are possessed so when your husband have a connection with them they follow them home so they your husband indirectly have invited a demon home your wife that is sleeping uh, be, be, beside, behind, sleeping with other men at your back. These men, many of them are possessed. Many of them are possessed. And indirectly, they are inviting demons to your home. I want you to pray again. Any evil spirit that I have opened my door for you today, come out. Any evil spirit that I have opened my family door for you to enter. Any demon that my father have opened our family door. My mother have opened our family door for you to visit our life. To torment our life. To frustrate our life. I declare to you, live by fire. Live by fire. Live by fire. Live by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Live by fire. I command you this day. Live by fire. I command you this day leave in the name of jesus 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 christ the book of matthew chapter 13 jesus christ made a second parable say another parable he put forth matthew 13 24 then saying the kingdom of heaven is linked unto a man which soweth good seed in his field. But when men slept, when men slept, when men slept, <laughs> his enemy came and sowed tares 
among the wheat and went his way. When men slept, when our daddy slept, when our mommy slept, the devil visited us to show behaviors, to show attitude, to show something in our life. Hallelujah. When we slept, the devil entered, sowed some seed in the life of our children for them to grow up to be disobedient children. Seed. When men slept, it is when men sleep, that is when the devil operates. If you hear any spiritualist telling you it is evil, it is evil for you to pray at night, count that, that person as, the, as, 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 as a demon, not even, it, it doesn't matter the title he holds. If anybody tells you, when you wake up at midnight to pray, it is evil, that person is evil. He is a demon sent to deceive people. He is a demon sent to, to what? To deceive people. King Solomon once settled an issue between two prostitutes, two heralds, two heralds. In the course of their job, they got pregnant. They gave birth in the same day. They were having the same male child. So the Bible said one slept. When they slept, one slept on one of, one uh, slept on his child. And when he, she slept on the child, she wake up to find that the child is dead. And he look around, he turned around to see his friend. The friend was asleep, but the baby was awake. So the lady quickly exchanged the dead child of her with the alive child. See, oh, when men slept, that is when the evil ones operate. When people sleep, when believers sleep, when born again Christians sleep, when you are busy toiling your way, going up and down, waking up with an alarm to go to work, the devil is preparing something for you. Many mothers go, they go early at six o'clock. Many go early as five o'clock, leaving their children's home. Leaving their children's home, they go to work. Many market women, they go to work early as 4.30. 4.30 they leave their children 4.30 they leave their home and this is the time the devil have been sowing many of you when you go the devil enter and rape your daughters then they silence them they put fear in them telling them if you tell anybody I am going to kill you if you tell anybody you are going to die when men sleep many of you it is when you sleep that your children open the door and go for somebody to impregnate them. Many of you, it is when you sleep that the robbers have been attacking you, coming to rob you when you were deep asleep. When men sleep, we are praying any, any seed that the devil has implanted in me. I, precious appear gifty. Any seed that the devil has planted in my life, in my children's life, right now, I command that, that seed to be uprooted. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Any seed that the devil has implanted in me when I slept, it is when you sleep that you have dream. Why? Because when you sleep that the devil at night that they operate on your soul go around and he sees what they are doing around you, what they are doing in, in your in your vineyard, in your compound, when you when you sleep, whatever that the devil has implanted in me. Waiting for the right time to manifest today, I approve it. 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 I set fire on 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 it. Whatever the devil has implanted in my life, in my children's life, in the name of Jesus Christ, I approve it. 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 I set it on fire. 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 I approve it. Any disease, any sickness, any illness that the devil has implanted in me. I approve it. 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 Set fire on 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 it. Lake Dosa. Lendolobo Masun Diamond. 
So broke to the antar mama kapang. Set fire, 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 set fire. Any plant, any plant that was implanted by God, anything that the devil has implanted in your heart, anger, bitterness, jealousy, hatred, covetousness, greediness. Say I uproot it. 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 Whatever is implanted in your children's life, in your husband's life, in your husband's life, say I uproot it. 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 Whatever seed that the devil has implanted in the heart of your husband. Ah, just to trouble you, just to frustrate you, just to abuse you, uproot that seed before that seed begin to bear fruit. What the devil has implanted in the life of your daughter, uproot it before it begins to bear fruit. What the devil has implanted in the life of your own mother or your own father, uproot it now before it begins to bear fruit, to hinder you, to stop you, to break you, to fight you, to fight your ground to drive away every good thing that come in your life. Say whatever the devil has implanted in the life of my mother, in the life of my father, in the life of my daughters, in the life of my sons, in the life of my house help, in the name of Jesus, be uprooted, 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 be my voice <laughs> my own daughter it is like i am 
the worst enemy ever. I don't know what I have done. I don't know my offenses. Oh God. I don't know why my daughter doesn't want me to come near her. I am not a witch. Mommy, I know in my heart. I don't I don't have anything bad against my daughter. But my daughter doesn't want me to visit her home. My daughter doesn't want any me anywhere around her and her children. Me anywhere around her and around her children. It is a demonic seed. Though. It is a veil the devil is using to cover. Either the devil has placed a veil in your face. That they are using well, as soon as your daughter see ah she's so provoked. Many of you, there is a veil that the devil has placed on your face. So the husband that used to love you today, and it's like you are the worst enemy. Mm. 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 When you are even crying, it provoked your husband. Not even making a good statement. <laughs> Not even bringing a good contribution. Why? There is something. A seed has been cultivated. A seed has been implanted. Something has been implanted. They implanted it a long time. But you did not pray to uproot it. So it is not bearing seed. The seed that is bearing is what you see as that anger. That hatred. That rejection. All these are seed. Seed that comes from an evil plant. The Bible says a good plant can never bear a bad fruit. That means a bad plant has been bearing this fruit for us. Bad plant has been releasing veils on our faces. So wherever we go, people hate us for no reason. People doesn't want to see your face. Please click on the share button, please. I want you all to share. Just two minutes. Everybody share for me. All the 79 people on it, I want you to share. I want you to share. Before we continue, share it for me. Share it for me. Click on the share. Click on the share. Click on the share. We have to reach 100 people. As soon as we share, people just log in. Just click on the share. They will log in right now. Click on the share. It's 79. Yes. Yes. It will enter 80. Yes. We are going. Just share. Just click on the share. Everybody share to your timeline. Everybody. Now we are 81, 82. Just, just share before we continue. Just share. Do it. Do it for me. Do it. Everybody click on it just click on it just click on it just click on it let somebody join because these prayers people need these prayers when they pray something will happen when they pray something will happen you go for water you wash your face because it is a seed that has been implanted unless you uproot it we will declare and declare and declare nothing will happen yes keep sharing Keep sharing. We have to reach 100. If all the 84 people on it now, if you share, we'll cross 100. If all the 83, if you have shared, you can share to your timeline three times. When the person saw, see three times, the person will just log in. If you want somebody to play, let me show you when you come, what you want to do, what you have to do. If you want somebody to join prayers, as soon as you join, you type the person's name. The person will think that there is a gossip somewhere. There is a beef somewhere. That is what Christians today, they want. They will, they will spend 45 minutes, two hours to watch beef. But praying for their own life, they want somebody to pray for them. Now, I have stopped praying for many people. When we come for prayers and you don't have time to join, I don't pray for many people. Only partners, people that buy data for me. People that buy data for me to do the work of God, they that I fast and pray for them. Yes? If you come for prayers and you don't come, you relax. You have time to watch beef, but you don't have time to pray for your life. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you the truth. There are so many things I used to do, I have stopped doing it. I have stopped doing it. Because many people, they will even come, even sharing your message for you. It's like you are their enemy, but they will chase you back door. For you to pray for them. If I am a, I am, if you feel shame to let people know that I am your, your, somebody behind you or praying for you, then there is no need you come to me under, underground because I don't carry anything that is shameful. I don't do anything that is disgusting. So when you come and you feel ashamed to share me on your timeline, don't call me back door. Let me tell you the truth. Me, I am sincere person. 
Yes, keep writing their name. Keep writing their name before we, 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 we proceed. Anybody that you want him or her to pray, just write the name of that person. That person will join. We are continuing. Any, any seed that they have been planted, some of these seeds, they will plant it when you are a child. When you are a child, they will plant that seed. That seed will not bear fruit. <laughs> it will start bearing fruit when you get to the age that you are about to settle down. The age that you need the husband, the age that you need the wife, it is there that that seed will begin to bear fruit. Bear fruit of anger. It will bear fruit of discrimination. <clears throat> Excuse me. Any man that comes your way, it's right. It's, um, I, uh, this man is not my type. Oh. <clears throat> their hands like this. This man is not my type. Oh. By the time they realize they've entered their 45 without a husband, then they will be chasing you. Mommy, I need a husband. Oh. When it was time, the men came because of a seed in you. Seed of proud, arrogant. It is a seed, though. Arrogant. It's a seed, proud. Many people, they can't even humble themselves. They first of all compare their age to your age. Mm, I'm older than you. Why should you teach me? Yes. Yes. I'm older than you. I'm older than you. I want an uh, old man to teach me. Uh, you are not my type. This is a seed in you, and that seed is what is causing many of the troubles that you are going through. Hey. Uh, you and your mom today, don't bring it to. Mm, don't start. <laughs> Do not bring yourself. Mm, for the past three days, how these people have been frustrating my life in this house. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I don't give a damn. You can say whatever you want to say. You can insult me, fight me. I will lead my prayers. For my prayers, don't they? <laughs> yes, this seed is in us. We need to uproot it. Whatever veil, whatever veil that the enemy has placed on my face, say today, I reject that veil. Whatever veil that the enemy has placed on your face, that when your husband sees you, your husband sees you as an eagle, your husband sees you as a dog, your husband sees you as a witch in her in the family. Say, I remove that veil. Say, I take off that veil. Say, I take off that veil. Say, I take off that veil. Any veil on my face. Any veil on my life. Any veil on my face. Any veil on my life. Any veil on my ministry. Any veil on my business. I take it off. 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 Every veil. Veil. Every veil. That the devil has placed on your face. Veil that the devil is using to break you, to hinder you, to scatter blessings in your life. Let that veil be unveiled. Be unveiled. Be unveiled. Be unveiled. Be unveiled. The cobweb that is tying you, my God. Tying you. So if in daylight, broad daylight, cobweb will be tying you. When you are even walking through the place that many people are passing there, the street that thousand people are passing, only you will pass there and cobweb will tie you down. Everybody is going, cobweb is not tying them down. Only you, even in the queue, that cobweb will pursue you and tie you down. Say, I set fire in any cobweb that is tying me. I set fire in any cobweb that is tying me. I set fire in any cobweb that is tying me. I set fire in any cobweb that is tying me. I set fire in any cobweb that is binding me. That is tying me. That is binding me. Every cobweb. Every cobweb. Every cobweb. Every veil. Every veil. Mantle of the devil, mantle of the devil, catch fire, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. John chapter 11, verses number 39 going. Talks about Lazarus, who was dead for four days and being buried. And when Jesus Christ came, John chapter 
11 verse number 39 jesus made a statement there i want to explain verse 39 said jesus said take ye away the stone <coughs> sorry lazarus was in a cave the people thought oh he is dead they knew he was dead they praised him in the cave for four days lazarus could have come outside but because of a stone that they placed at the entrance of that cave, Lazarus was inside. When he, even he heard the voice of Jesus, that he was re, he has come back to life inside the cave. There was a stone that was there. Many of us, the devil has placed us in a place and they have placed a stone. So we cannot roll the stone and come out. Our destiny is in a cave. And in that cave, there is a stone. The stone is broken us. Many of us, the stone that is broken us, the stone that is broken us, it is our mother. The stone that is broken us, it is our father. Any man that you bring home, your father will drive that man away. Mm -mm. Sometimes you ask yourself, why is my father married to me? Any lady that you bring home, your mother is a demonic stone, keeping you in that cave. Maybe that lady is your destiny helper. Maybe that man is your destiny helper to remove you from that cave, to remove you from the position where the devil has placed you. But a stone is there. Hallelujah. Tonight we are here to roll every stone from our life. Many of us, the stone is your ex-husband. Many of us, many people, the stone is your ex fiancé Your ex fiancé casted a spell that you can never bear the fruit of the womb. That is what is making you single till now. Because any marriage you go, because you are finding it difficult to get the fruit of the womb, the man will start cheating and you pack out. Demonic stone. <laughs> a stone prays there. Many of us, the stone there. It is best friends, besties. People that are closer to you, people that are near you, any opportunity that will come your way to shift you to the next level, that person will go before you, destroy that chance. That person will use the math. Many people, they will not reveal your secret. When blessings are not coming, when doors are not open, they will start to reveal the secret for people to know who you really are when there is an open door. When there is an open door, it is there. Your mother will say, hey, hey, hey this is my son. Thanks be to God, though. Because when my, my, this my daughter was young, how she used to steal. How she used to steal from my, my pocket. Any money that I put, a man that is coming to marry you, to change your destiny, to help you move forward. See, yo, it is there they are revealing every secret about you. It is there your brother will call. That lady and say, you know, this is my brother that you want to marry. <laughs> this is my brother. He can't even stay with a woman, no. He's jumping from one woman to the other. Recently, she was with this Igbo girl. The next day, she was this with this Jamaican girl. The next day, he was this e -E -A. Hey, Stones in our life. Stones that has been rolled to keep you in one position. Stones that have been rolled to keep you in a cave. When your destiny is in a cave, you can only see the entrance. You don't, you don't eat what you like. Oh, you only eat to satisfy your belly. You don't eat what you like. Mm -mm. You eat to satisfy your belly. You only see the entrance. Only exit. Only the entrance. There is no exit path. When your destiny is in a cave, there is no offer, there is no favor, there is no opportunity, nothing is coming, nobody is coming to your aid. Yesterday you are a believer, you are born again, you are being baptized, you are baptized, I want you to declare, any stone in my life, any stone that has been rolled to keep me in one position, whoever that stone is, today I rode you away. Anybody that is a stone, anybody that is evil stone, that is a hindrance, that is an obstacle to my next level, to my next level in life, to my next level in business, to my le my next level in marriage, to my next level, oh my God, in politics, I rode you away.
I wrote you away. I wrote you away. I wrote you away. I wrote you away. Every stone. A stone. It, one disease. Just one disease. Oh. One attack. Just one attack. Will put you on one on bed for more than six months. It's a demonic stone that have been rolled to keep you in one position. A stone is rolled to keep somebody. So the Bible said when Jesus Christ, after his death, when they put him in a cave, they rolled the stone. They rolled a very heavy stone that he do not escape. Because they knew that if they do not roll a stone and set body guys to watch over, people can even come and smuggle him or take him. So they roll the stone. Many of us, the devil has rolled the stone to keep us in one position. Like those that are dead of age, let every stone that is rolled to keep you in one position, let that stone be rolled off. Let it be rolled away. 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 Be rolled away. Every stone that has been rolled to disfavor you, to disfavor you, to disfavor you, I decree and I declare, let that stone today be rolled away today be rolled away let every stone that has been rolled to keep you in one position mm, to keep you in one position all of them will go to the immigration they will give them visa only you will go because of a stone that is rolled to keep you in nigeria to keep you in ghana to keep you in tanzania to keep you in rwanda to keep you in all part of africa you cannot get that visa you cannot get that visa any stone keeping you in one position say i rode you away 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 i pull you off i roll i roll i roll every reproach i rode every disgrace in the form of a stone i rode embarrassment in the form of a stone i roll i roll i roll i roll in the name of jesus christ and then jesus said uh take ye away the stone mother the sister of thou was there said unto lord by this time he's thinking for he had been dead four days evil voice evil voice when it is time for our breakthrough evil voice jesus said roll it away the voice rise up and said by now it has already damaged let every evil voice let every evil voice that has been speaking for our, our, when it is time for your breakthrough let all these voices be silenced from today mm. Voices from your sisters, voices from your brothers, voices from, ma from mothers, voices from aunties and aunties, cousins, cousins, nieces, nephews. Let all these ancient voices be silenced. Voices from the camp of your ex relationships, ex relationships, ex relationships. Let these voices be silenced from your life. I declare any voice that has been lifting against your breakthrough, any voice that has been lifting against your blessing, any voice that has been speaking to limit you, speaking to break you, speaking to keep you in one position. Let that voice be silenced from today, be silenced from today, be silenced from today, be silenced from today. Day. Be silent from today. Ancient voice, voice of accusation, voice of accusation, voice of accusation. Be silent, be silent, be silent, be silent. Evil voices speaking against you in your working places. Be silent, evil voices speaking against you in your father's house, in your mother's house. Be silent, my God. Leka biande, maka paya dosa, len dorpo masun diamond, zo prokoto liantarma maka pam, zuri makata yama liantarma maka pam, zuri makata yama liantarma maka pam, len dorpo masun diamond, zo prokoto liantarma maka pam, zuri makata yama liantarma maka biande. Let every voice, voice, bearing false witness against you. Bearing false witness against your husband, bearing false witness against your wife, let that voice be silenced. I 
declare, I declare, I declare by divine authority, be silenced, be silenced, be silenced, be silenced, be silenced. If a voice of accusation in your marriage, your best friend is accusing you of something that you've not done. Your best friend have betrayed you to your own husband. Your best friend have betrayed you to your own wife. Let that evil voice of accusation be silenced. I parlock those voices. I parlock people that have gotten access to come closer to you, to know much about you, that are taking you outside for sale, that are selling you out to the public, that are selling you out. I parlock their mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. I put parlock, I put parlock, I put parlock, I put parlock, I put parlock on their lips. Let them be silent forever. Let them be silent forever. I change their tongue on your marriage. Anybody that has vowed to speak, to reveal your past life, to collapse your marriage, wherever that person is, let that person's mouth be afflicted. Let the mouth be afflicted. We all have our past. Nobody was an angel when we came to Christ. Nobody was an angel. We all did. We all did mistakes. We all had our way in the world. We all messed up. We all fornicated. We all caused abortion. She was not the only person that have traveled six hours, three hours to go and sleep with another man. We all did it. She was not the only person that have traveled seven hours to visit your fiancé. We all have done it before. This is not a news. This shouldn't collapse your marriage. This shouldn't bring separation. This shouldn't give access for another woman to come and take over your marriage. No way. Say no way. Say no way. Declare no way. Declare no way. It will never stand. Neither will it come to pass. No way. It shall not stand. Neither will it come to pass. We all have been making mistakes in our working place. One mistake that I have done shouldn't cause me to lose my position. Say, no way. This will never happen. It will never stand. Devil, your plans will never stand. Declare to them it will never stand. Declare to them your plans will never work. Declare to them it will never stand. Declare to them it will never stand. Declare to them that says the Lord. Isaiah 7, 7. It shall not stand. Neither will it come to pass. Hey, no way. No way. Devil, hear us. No way. No way. No way. We declare to you, no way. Take your hand off this family. Take your hand off this marriage. Take your hand off the position they occupy. Take your hand off their promotion. Take your hand off their life. Take your hand off their way. No way. Full voices. Verse 43. John 11, 42 says, When he that has spoken, he cried out a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth, come forth, come forth, come forth, wherever your soul is, in the land of death, in the land of death, I call out your soul, come forth, wherever your son's soul is, come forth, wherever your daughter's soul is, in the pit of hell, come forth, wherever your husband's soul is, right now, come forth, we declare, come forth, wherever your soul, your soul, your soul, your soul, your soul, your soul, in the land of death, that is giving access for ghosts to communicate with you, that is giving access for ghosts to visit you, that is giving access of your dreams, of ghosts, 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 dead relative, we command your soul, come forth, come back to life, come back to life, anybody appointed to die, under the sound of my voice, come back to life, anybody appointed to die, under the sound of my voice, come forth, rise up, rise up, come back to life, resurrect from your grave, from your casket, from where they are keeping you, come forth, come up, come up. Come up, come up. I speak to your businesses. I speak to your handwork. I speak to your businesses. Come forth, businessmen that are going down because the devil has been stripping you naked because the devil wants you to surrender. Come forth. I comfort your business. I comfort your business. I comfort your business. Business women that are going down, that are going down, that are going down. My God, my God. God, my God, let everything dead in your business, dead in your business, dead in your business, come back to life. 
Hey! Le kabriante ma kapaya dosa. Lentonopo ma sundayama. So prokoto liantar ma ma kapam. Zuri ma katayama liantar ma ma kabriante. Come back to life. Let your business come back to life. Let your souls come back to life. Wherever your daughter is, in the land of death, a lot of prophecy that she is going to die. I decree and declare she will never die. A lot of prophecy that your mom is going to die. I decree and declare that she is not going to die. She will live and declare the works of God. She will live in the land of the living. In the land of the living. In the land of the living. Anybody appointed to die in your home, your father's house, your mother's house, this month, this week, I decree and I declare, come back to life le kabian de makapaya dosa lento le po ma sundayama so prokoto liantar ma makapa a decree and a decree let the verdict of death be lifted from your life let the verdict of death the sentence of death on your life on your daughter's life on your son's life your cousin's life your niece's life your granddaughter your grandson your grandmother your son your daughter be lifted hey let the yoke of death be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now i command your soul to come back to life receive power i command the resurrection power that resurrected dry bones in ezekiel 37 in ezekiel let that power resurrect everything dead in you right now let the muscle let the bone join bone let the leg join the legs let bones join bones let flesh come back come back come back let every pain that I've taken over your body right now let it disappear. 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 Every pain taking over your life, making you weak, difficult to walk, difficult to walk right now. Receive power in your legs. Receive power in your legs. Anybody that is feel bonded, we bonded in a wheelchair on your bed under this atmosphere right now right now rise up and walk 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 in the name of jesus christ i declare healing under this atmosphere i declare healing yes yes let the body, let the praise, the affected area receive touch mightily, 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 mightily pains under your ab abdomen, severe pains in your breast, severe pains in your joints, weakness in your body, numbness in one side of your body. Right now, come back to life. 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 Right now, back to life. Yes. Yes. Hey. Hey. Le kabriante ma kapaya dosa. Len tonopo ma sundayama. So prokoto liantar ma makapa. So rimakata yama liantar ma makapia de. Ma kapaya dosa len tonopo ma sundayama. Ah. 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 Many of you that have that have started dreaming of cutting meat, cooking with meat, seeing fresh meat, seeing fresh meat right now, right now, right now. I break the yoke of death from anybody that concerns your life, that concerns your life, that concerns your life, that concerns your life, that concerns your life. Right now, the yoke of death, the verdict of death, the sentence of death be lifted. Be lifted right now. Let Kabiande Makapaya dosa the meat that you are cooking. Hey, tell the devil, devil, you are a liar. This meat I will cook, but now nobody will die in my home. I am making this palm no soup, but nobody is going to die. I am seeing this, uh, this prop palm not fruit, but I declare to you, nobody will die. We are not going to bury anybody again. We are not going to bury anybody from now to the, the end of this year and even beyond. We refuse to bury anybody. 
We refuse to bury anybody. We refuse to bury anybody. We refuse to bury anybody. Accident. The yoke of accident. Take your hand off my home. Be broken into pieces. Be broken into pieces. Be broken into pieces. Be broken into pieces. Any disease that is as uh, that is that that is assigned to take you to your airy grave. I command that disease to live your life now. I command that infirmity to live your life now. Any disease that they have assigned to take your life home prematurely, to lead you to your airy grave. Hey, 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 hear me. Leave the body in the name of Jesus Christ. Any medication that doctors have prescribed for you that will lead you to your airy grave, I, I nullify that medication. Any medication that will bring high blood pressure, that will bring diabetes, hey, that will bear fruit of diabetes. Uh -uh. Uh. Any medication, any treatment, treatment they are giving to you that will bear another fruit of diabetes or high blood pressure or put your heart as, at risk or put your kidney at risk or put your brother at risk in the name of Jesus Christ let that medication be neutralized be neutralized be neutralized be neutralized be nullified be nullified be nullified be nullified be nullified right now le kabian de maka pa ya dosa len tole po ma sun dayaman so boko to li antar ma maka pa be nullified look 11:44 he said and he that was dead came forth bound head and foot with grave clothes and his face was born about with a napkin. Jesus said unto him, Lose him and let him go. Lose him and let him go. Lose him and let him go. Anybody that is bounded with a, a cloth, a dead cloth. My God. A grave cloth. Grave cloth. Crowd, white crowd from the mortuary. Hey, 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 devil, hear me. Lose them and let them go. 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 Anybody tied already pressing the casket. Anybody under the sound of my voice that is already in a casket that your son or your daughter or your mother or your father is already placing a, a, a casket in the spiritual realm right now i declare to the devil i declare to the messengers of death surrounding him or her lose her let her go lose her let her go lose her let her go lose after this prayer as many of you dream and god will reveal to you that you are loose you have escaped death you have escaped death Yes, all those that were secretly appointed to die that you have not even seen in dream. God will reveal to you because it is broken. The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. Your soul is loosed. Let them go. Lose them. Lose boys and girls. Let them go. I declare, lose sons and daughters, lose mothers and fathers, lose brothers and sisters, lose them. Lose them and let them go. Lose and let them go. Lose, lose them and let them go. <laughs> uh, uh, Jesus, lose them. <laughs> Many people, when they dream and they see, they see me dead, they cry and cry and cry and say, Me, nobody can kill me. Unless I finish the job that I'm coming to do on earth, never. No body, no human being born of flesh and blood. Mm -mm. You can you can destroy things around me, but to kill me, God have not delivered my soul to them. The charlatans, God have not delivered my soul to them. The the only thing they can do is to afflict me, and when I cry and I I get up, <laughs> I am coming as a mighty warrior. <laughs> when I cry, finish, and I rise up, hey, stand firm, lose them, let them go, whether you like it or not. That appointment with death is broken today. 
Devil, whether you like it or not, they will never die. They will never die. Wherever their souls are, lose them in your altars, in your kingdom, charlatans, lose them. Oh my God, where you are keeping their souls in the forest, in the bush, in a pit, lose them. Let them go. Lose them. Let them go. Pharaohs, 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 responsible for kidnapping, putting people into captivity, burdening them with heavy loads, heavy burdens. Lose them. Let them go. Free their souls in the name of Jesus Christ. Take away that grave growth. Any grave growth binding you, binding your legs, binding you up. In the name of Jesus, I set it on fire. Grave growth. Grave growth. Grave growth. Grave growth. Tying you. Tying you. Right now. Right now. I set it on fire. Whenever they bond your legs and bond your hands, tied your hands and tied your legs, I lose you. I lose you now. Anybody under the sound of my voice, under this atmosphere, with your legs and your hands being chained, being chained in the name of Jesus Christ, let that chains fail from your hands. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose your sons. I lose your daughters. I lose your marriages. I lose your investment. I lose your investment. I lose your businesses. I lose your church. I lose your career. I lose your fame. I lose everything that is taken away right now. That is Press chain on it. Break. Let every chain on your hands. Break. Let every chain on your legs. Break. Let every chain on your business. Break. Let every chain on your project. Break. Let every chain binding you. Hey. Binding you. Hey. Binding your son. Binding your son. Binding your daughter. Chains. Binding you in singleness. Binding you in masturbation. Bonding you in, 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 in watching pornographic films. Uh, let that change. Let that bond. My God, be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be loosed. Lose them. Let them go. Lose them from the, the curses in their father's house. I lose you from the curses in your mother's house. I lose you from the curses in your father's house. I lose you from every spell hanging around your neck, hanging on your head. Every spell, every depth, every depth, every depth. I lose you. I lose you from every depth, every depth. Every debt, every debt, debt, my God, debt, debt, debt. Hey, be loose, be loose, joblessness, be loose, be loose, be loose, be loose, joblessness, joblessness, weak handed, weak handed, disappointment, be loose, be loose, be loose, be loose, be loose, promise and fail, hmm. poverty, hmm. poverty. Poverty, poverty, poverty. Belows now, belows now, belows now, belows now, belows now, belows right now, right now, right now. The word of God say, He who the Son of Man set is free is free indeed. I declare freedom, I declare freedom, freedom to your soul, freedom to your mind, freedom to your body, freedom. Be free, I declare freedom to you, freedom. Freedom, freedom, right now. Be free from every bondage, emotional bondage, psychological bondage, sexual bondage, physical bondage. Any bondage that your soul is in, let that bondage be broken. Let that bondage be broken and let your soul be released. Let your soul be released. Let your soul be released. Sexual bondage. Sexual bondage. Where's bondage? Whatever, wherever, wherever, whatever kind of bondage. Right now, be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. Be loosed. I declare freedom. I came to speak freedom. I came to give freedom. I came to release freedom. Receive freedom. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, from today, whatever the mouth of man have tempted impossible in your life, let it be tempted possible. Whatever the tongue of men have tempted impossible, let it be possible. Let it be possible. Let it be possible. Let it be possible. In the name of Jesus Christ. This second week, this second week of, second week of July, I saw babies being released. I saw babies being released. Those that are, that are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, get ready, you get pregnant. Those trusting God for the fruit of the womb, get ready, you get pregnant. Those trusting God, I saw babies be released. Many, many, many beautiful babies. Beautiful babies. Beautiful babies. And many of them that I have their prayer requests, that I know they, they want babies, I've showed them something to do. If you, if you need baby, just test me, I will show you what to do. It's not money. It's not anything. You are not paying anything to me. You are not coming to pay anything to me. I will just show you something to do at your head, at, at, your, at your own room. At your own room. Because I saw babies being released. I saw eggs being distributed. I saw many people that they were receiving crab. You know the crab. You know in the realms of the spirit. Catching crab represent babies. It represents babies. I saw it. I saw it. Many babies will be received, released. They will be released. Many of you, it is time for you to carry your miracle babies. It is time for you to carry your miracle twins. It is time for you to carry your miracle children. Receive yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Type, I receive mine. If, you, if you're receiving on behalf of somebody that need the fruit of the blessing, type, I receive miracle babies. Type, I receive miracle babies. Type, I receive miracle twins. Type, I receive miracle twins. Type, I receive miracle twins type i receive miracle twins with your faith receive it with your faith <coughs> yes receive it as you type it receive it as you type it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive Miracle, 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 miracle. Receive, 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 receive. Let women in their menopause get these miracle babies. Let women in their menopause that are typing miracle. I receive, receive it as you type it. Right now, Lord, I receive. I receive for my sisters. I receive. I receive for my children. I receive for all the women trusting you for the fruit of the blessing from the fruit of the womb. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive miracle twins. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody trusting God for, 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 for the blessings of fertility? That you keep seeing yourself in dreams, giving birth to babies in the name of Jesus Christ. I kill every babies that you have in the realms of the spirit. I kill every babies that you have. I command fire to consume them. Any spiritual babies that you have that is affecting your chance of carrying physical babies, let those spiritual babies, let them die by fire. 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 Any spiritual babies that you are having hindering your physical babies, let those spiritual babies, let every baby that you are pregnant of right now be aborted. 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 Every spiritual babies, children Children that you have, children that you have, husband that you have, wife that you have, right now be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Keep typing. Keep typing. Be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Those of you that have gone for interview, I want you to type. I receive miracle job. Miracle job. Because the Bible said everywhere the apostles went and preached the gospel. After preaching the gospel, there was what? Signs and wonders. 
after delivering the message, the message was full of what power. So there is power after every message, after every sermon, there is healing, there is liberation, there is breakthrough, there is testimony, every testimony, awaiting testimony, receive it. Any blessing that is impending right now, right now, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Anywhere they are supposed to call you to give you a job, to give you your document, to give you your papers. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them call you. 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 Them call you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I open the door. I release access. I release access. I release access. I release access. I command the doors open. Doors open. Doors open. Doors open. Doors open. Traveling. 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 Doors. 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 International doors. Traveling. 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 Traveling opportunities. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is hindering you is broken. What is what is broken you is destroyed. What is fighting you is destroyed. What is delaying you is destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your miracle job. All those that are jobless, you can be jobless. You can be jobless as a born again Christian. You can be jobless as a believer. In the name of Jesus Christ, for it is written, I will supply you all your needs according to my riches, according to my wealth, according to what is in me, according to what is in my kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your miracle job. Receive a phone call right now, calling you for a job, telling you to come and start work, telling you to come and start work. You come back to it. You can't surrender to the devil before you get the money, before you get money to feed, before you get money to pay your bills. You can't join the, the team of lesbians. You can't join the team of gays. You can sacrifice your soul before you eat right now. What is hindering you? I destroy it. What what is broken you? I destroy it. What has been taken from your life? I release it back to you. 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 Right now, I put you on your God ordained seat, your rightful seat. Every lifetime opportunity that you have missed, receive it back. 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 Every lifetime opportunity that you have missed, right now. Right now. Receive it back. Leka biande, makapa ya dosa, len dorobo masunda yama, zobro koto liantar ma makapa, zuri makata yama liantar ma makabiande, makapa ya dosa len dorobo masunda yama, zobro koto liantar ma makapa, zuri makata yama liantar ma makabiande. I declare access. I declare access. I declare. You will never move from this atmosphere. Why you have not received something? Right now, I reinforce the manifestation of your blessing. Right now, I reinforce the manifestation of your testimony. Of your testimony. I, oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. I reinforce it. I reinforce it. Receive it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Your healing. Your healing. Your healing. Your healing. Your deliverance. Your breakthrough. Your breakthrough. Your breakthrough, take it. Rapa babo, le kabiande makapa, len dorobo masun dayama. So brokoto liantarma makapa, len dorobo masun dayama. So brokoto liantarma makapa, suri makata yama liantarma makabiade. Enough. Enough of creeping and crawling. Enough of rejection. Enough of waking up in the morning, finding nowhere to go, finding no job to attend. Enough. Right now, I reinforce whatever is delaying. Let it manifest. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Le kabiande makapa ya dosa len dorobo masun dayama so brokoto liantar ma makapa len dorobo masun dayama Jesus yeah yes yes yes
Yes, every door that has been shut, it has opened right now. Doors have been opened. 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 Heaven is releasing blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Take it. What they have stolen from you that they want you to come and surrender before you enjoy. Take it. What they have taken from you that they want you to come and join them before they give you. I release for you. I release to you. Take it. My God. 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 I lose souls. I lift embargoes. Embargoes, embargoes, praise on certificates, embargoes, praise on qualifications, embargoes hanging on your head wherever you go, wherever you go and look for a job, embargoes, praise on your citizenship, your green card, embargoes, praise on your document, be lifted, 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 embargoes. Yes, 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 on your marital certificate, keeping you in a singlehood, in singlehood, as an image. You are not born an image. You are not an image. You are not an image. Right now, let the embargo be lifted, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Hey, 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 death will hear me. Lose them today. Release to them what belongs to them. Release to them all oh, what... What is due to them? In the name of Jesus Christ, whether the devil like it or not, you possess your possessions. Whether the devil like it or not, you hold what belongs to you. Sit upon your seat. Any seat that you're supposed to sit upon, that the devil have already placed somebody on it. I evict that person from your seat. Any opportunity that is supposed to come your way, that they have swapped it, that they have changed it, right now, receive it back. I evict wrong people from your seat. Anybody riding at the back of your horse in the realms of the sport, let the wind from the four corners of the world blow and take that person from where you occupy. In the name of Jesus Christ, let anybody that is saying, I will never let you occupy this seat. Oh, as far as I live, my God, let them visit their early grave so that you occupy your seat in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Lekabiande makapa yadosa. Lendorobo masunda yaman. Zobrokoto liantarma makapam. Zuri makata yama liantarma makabiande. Makapa yadosa lendorobo masunda yaman. Zobrokoto liantarma makapam. Jesus. Father, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for this. Oh, oh, this breakthrough. Father, let it manifest physically. Let your children receive. I see a moving from your father. Father, from, from today, counting 21 days, counting 21 days, let the 92 people under the sound of my voice, 93, Father, let them come and testify. Under this atmosphere, Lord, let the 93 people under the sound of my voice, counting from today to the next 21 days, if you have called me. Lord, if you have called me, let them testify. 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 Hey, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I bless you. I bless you. I sense within my heart some people want to donate to uh, the foundation. Some people have that in your heart. To give, don't give to me. Give to the foundation. Give to the poor people. If it is 10, if it is 20, if it is 30, if it is 50, if it is 10, if it is 20, if it is 30, please give to the foundation. We want to buy 50 bags of cement for one of the schools there. When it started raining, the video they sent to me, it is so bad. It is so bad. It is so, so bad. We need cement for them. I need your help. If you can give a 10, you can give a 20, please cash up remedy or what remit or send wave or tap tap send. The number is plus 233-544-9472. Yeah, if somebody can type it for me. 
if somebody can type it for me plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three uh if it is ten we are just asking for donation donation to buy cement uh, to mend the village one of the villages that we, we have been going there to do donation 10 20 30 40 50 any little that you have god knows that is what you have if you can give 100 if you can give 50 if you can give 20 please take the cash up it is cash up it is mtn mobile account mtn mobile account plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three mtn mtn mobile account mtn tn mobile account the name on it is precious appear gifty ministry precious appear gifty ministry any cash up that you are using cash up if it is remitting if it is world remit if it is tap tap send if it is rare the rare make sure you receive in mobile account if you can't receive a mobile account and we have to go to the bank you test me for details you test me for details you test me for details please if you can give 10 if you're in ghana mtn just even if it is 10 that you have if you are able to give 10 10 we can buy the cement for them we can buy the cement for them please help me help me if you can if you don't have it's not by force if you don't have it is not by force the number is plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three if you are in kenya and you want to give you donate to the foundation in kenya you donate to the foundation in kenya please the announcement there if anybody chat you please listen to me if anybody chat you on facebook requesting for money please it is not my foundation i don't chat people on facebook messenger i don't chat people i don't pray for people on facebook messenger i only pray for people on whatsapp on whatsapp only if anybody chat you this is the only number and the kenya number the kenya number is for the kenyans uganda and rwanda and tanzania if anybody use any different number or any different account claiming uh, so see to a foundation it is not me please don't pay anything to anybody do not pay this is the only number i operate on this is the only number if i add any number i'll paste on my timeline please this is the only number this is the only number if you can give 10 you can give 20 you can give 50 we are just asking for help our foundation we are going to buy cement for those people there those people there when it started raining in ghana they can't go to school and you know they've cried to the government so many times no help is coming so when we went and do the donation there they put before us that we should come to their aid even if it is 30 bags of cement they will use um labor they will come together and use their strength there are masons there are carpenters there they will do it they will do it so i am pleading if you can donate 10 20 50 30 remedy or what remit or tap tap send or send wave any of the cash app any of the cash app the name on it is precious appear gifting ministry precious appear gifting ministry precious appear gifting ministry god bless you god willing tomorrow we are not coming god willing tomorrow we are not coming it says somebody i see i saw a message so following you from Suriname, a little country in South America. We speak Dutch, but I can understand the English language. I follow you almost one month and I discovered, wow, <laughs> it's a, I follow you almost, I discovered that you are the mouth of God. God bless you. Amen. God bless you too. Ending. What is ending? Give me ending. The, the name is Precious Appear Gifty Ministry. That is the name. Precious Appear Gifty Ministry. Uh, first name is Precious. Uh, second name is Appear Gifty Ministry. Uh, whatever you do it. Or Precious Appear. And it's add the second name. Gifty Ministry. Just divide it. Just divide it. Just divide it, please. God bless you. God willing. Tomorrow, I will take calls on WhatsApp. I said I'm not going to pray for people. <laughs> I can't do. <laughs> I will take many of you. I have so many calls, you know, because of the eat, how my people have stressed me these three days. These three days, hmm, it's not easy. It's not easy. That's why you don't see me coming for teachings. Yes, how they have been fighting me up and down, back and forth. It is not easy. I am strong. If I'm not strong, I could not even come today. I could not even come today. I even packed that I'm going. 
I packed that I'm going to my country. And they said, no, 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 you can't go. It's just a little misunderstanding. You can't go. I said, okay, if you try again, I'll go. Though I don't have a place to go, but I'll go. God bless you. God bless you, please. Even if it is 10, let us have it. 10, 20, 30. If you are able to give 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. Uh, who is saying my stomach also is strawberry me? You send me a message on WhatsApp. God willing, tomorrow I'll pay calls. I'll pay calls. I'll pray for people. I'll pray for people. So you leave your message. I have more than 300 messages. It's not easy. It's not easy. But I will attend to all. I will attend to all. If I've not opened your message, don't think I have forgotten. I will just open. It's just that the messages are too much. If you're in Tanzania, Rwanda, Kenya, in Pesa, in Pesa, you just test me on this number on WhatsApp. I will send you the in Pesa. If you're in any part of Europe, you use uh, Remedy. Send wave Western Union any of the any of them that you want to use you can chat me later you can chat me if you want uh, more details we are also asking for second hand clothing second hand shoes please do not throw it away we need it oh they need it in the village second hand clothing second hand shoes bags anything that you do not have say did i hear they say what remit yes if you have what remit what remit you can send to this number the name is precious appear gifty ministry mtn mobile money account the country is ghana country ghana country is ghana remedy we have war remit and we also have remedy and we have send wave send wave is also there we have another app in play store we call it tap tap send all of them are saved it is secured it is secured it is secured it is so secure people have been using it and it is so safe it is so safe please uh do not when when you are sending money be careful because me i really respect my reputation and i wouldn't do anything shit anything that will feed me today and tarnish my image tomorrow i will never do that is why you see me washing panties before i get money to sponsor ministry yeah i could have found all ways and means to get money yes i could have found all ways and means to get money but i have decided to struggle to work to get money to sponsor ministry so if you are giving give at the right way this is the only number do not go and send to anybody if they fraud you i have already told you please this is the only number i use plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three that is my whatsapp that is my whatsapp number if you want to send me message this is the number god bless you lift up your hand as we share the grace and go may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever so help me god amen if you are in cayman and you want to give it is true uh money ground because cayman you can't do a uh, cash up cayman it is not coming so if you are in cayman island and you want to donate or you want to give please chat me i'll con i'll connect you to one of our sisters there wherever you are she'll come for the money and do the moneygram if you if you can't assess the moneygram she will do it wherever you are if you're in united states and you want zilly i'll give you the zilly number if you're in united states of america and you want to give zilly i'll give you the zilly number it is somebody's private number so i cannot uh, put it on the platform if you're in any part of europe and you are having secondhand clothing please contact me i will arrange for the agent to come for it they will come for it if you are in any part of the united states and you have secondhand clothing secondhand shoes for your children for your husband for you please do not take it away the first step if you don't want it don't wait for it to expire do not wait for it to expire please put in a barrel for the poor people they like it they really like it and they are going to bless you help my foundation that is my dream my dream is all the time to feed the poor people to feed the poor people. God bless you. I will see you on WhatsApp. Shalom. Love you all. First time watching. Oh, God bless you, Elsie. God bless you so much. You are welcome. God willing, tomorrow we will not come for prayers, but the next day you will come. Tomorrow we will not come. Tomorrow you can go to YouTube and repray. I will repost it on YouTube. So you can go to YouTube. The channel name is Precious Appear Gifty. Precious Appear Gifty. Please, when you go to YouTube, like and subscribe for me every day i forget to if you have not subscribed please 
you have in Germany. Okay, Francisca, you, you chat me. I will, con I will connect you and you know how you get it in Germany. Yeah, you know how you get it in Germany. Wherever you are, just let us know where you are. We'll get somebody that will come for it. We'll get somebody that will connect the door to door and we'll receive it. Please do not throw it away. Do not throw it away and God will bless you. When you go to YouTube, search precious appear gifted. Tomorrow go there and repray. Repray any of the prayers there. You just type on one, you repray. And you just pray and you sleep. God bless you. Shalom. Bye-bye.